OK, so let's say I want to integrate cosine of x times sine squared x dx. OK, and I'm going to use integration by substitution. Now, from what you've seen before, um, because we've got this trigonometry involved, uh, rather than just having brackets of uh, uh, x plus 2s and 5x minus 3s and things like that, We've still got we've still got the situation where we have this sine of x inside uh, squared, effectively a, a function of squaring, and we've got the derivative of sine x on the outside. So when dealing with this, we would use that the uh, substitution to be the sine x. Okay, so in much the same way as we would uh, with the other examples. So, first step is always to differentiate du by dx. And then rearrange to get dx equals. So, we can multiply both sides by the dx, divide both sides by the cosine of x. Okay, and we now have a replacement for the dx. So... this integral, we've got the cosine of x still there. The sine of x is the u, so we've got u squared. And the dx is 1 over cosine of x du. Now the cosine x will cancel, leaving me with the integral of u squared du, which I could just integrate as I normally would. So adding 1 to the power, dividing by the new power, and then I can substitute the u back in. The u was sine x, so this is one third sine cubed x plus c. Okay, so that's how I integrate something that looks like that. So in a much, much exactly the same way as I would all the other examples, it's just this one includes trigonometry. We're going to see a few more examples of this in the next video.